What's going on everyone? Talon here with Talon Collects Figures and we are back with another statue and this one is uh, quite a big one. We have the Lilith statue here for uh, Diablo 4, so the Blizzard statue I believe. I don't know who they contracted to make it, but it looked like it was a pretty nicely done statue and I really liked the game. I love the aesthetics of uh, Lilith here, so I kind of just had to have the figure, so I decided to pre-order it. Uh, the pre-orders were a little delayed, so just starting to get around to opening this now, but they were supposed to uh, ship out in November, uh, and we only got the statues like end of October, or end of October, end of December, so kind of around Christmas time is when she arrived. Had a lot of family stuff going on for Christmas, so just getting around to it now and also had to find uh, spots to clear off for her. And as you could probably tell from her just sitting up here, um, I'm going to be putting her on top of my dresser. I couldn't really think of anywhere else to put her because it's a nice big statue. It's only going to be the third statue I have of this size, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the box. Got some nice... Uh, etching here on the box. I definitely like the symbol here for the blood rituals. Oh, it's got the, oh, it's got the chant on the back here. By three they come, by three thy way opens, by the blood of the willing we call thee home. Hail, daughter of hatred, creator of sanctuary, hail Lilith. So the box looks really nice. So definitely a nice looking box here. Oh, yeah, so. Hopefully she'll be easy to put together and we're not going to have a ton of little parts because I haven't even opened the box yet and I've had her for now like about a month and a half or so. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to unboxing it and then we'll put her together and hopefully, like I said, nothing's broken in there and we'll be having a little statue up in no time. Okay, so here's a... Uh first look once we got her out of the box and out of the styrofoam so it looks like pretty complete there it doesn't look like we're gonna have to put too much together because i can see her whole body there I haven't seen uh face or anything yet this is literally what i've seen and we have another layer here so let's go ahead and take that off okay so bottom layer looks like it's got her wings and the base so this looks pretty uh a lot easier than the other two statues that I got. The other two statues I had had a lot of parts to put together. Um, and then the little pamphlet here. It's only got like four or five steps. What, five steps? Yeah. Five steps to put it together. They probably make... <laughs> they could have tried a little bit harder and made it four steps for Diablo 4. Four steps to put her together. Daughter of Hatred. Okay, so now I guess we'll take a look at some of the parts here. So... Um, take the base out first so we have somewhere to set her. Okay, here is the base, and it is quite heavy. <laughs> I would say this base is probably about 15 to, yeah, like 15 pounds, maybe even a little bit more than 15 pounds. Actually, it's probably more than, yeah, probably more than 15 pounds. Uh, but as you can see here, some detail on it. Got all of the black blood. Kind of the lava stones that are down there in hell. Very cool looking. We have something at the bottom here. All right. Oh, I'll put this on the dresser. One piece down. Okay, so I think now we need to take her out because we put the wings on after we have her in the stand, I'm assuming, and then her tail. So, yeah, let's get Lilith out and see what she looks like. Okay, so we just pulled her out. Still a bit of uh, packing on there, some of the styrofoam and stuff. So let's just dump that out. So that should be where she, yeah, where she attaches onto the base. Oh, get this out. Then we've got these under her arms. Let's, yep, let's just pull. Come on. Pull right out. And there she is. Ooh. Looking pretty nice. Nice weighty statue as well. So it got some weight to it. Definitely like when uh, the statues feel like nice and solid because I've definitely gotten figures or. Well, not my statues, but my figures that I've gotten in the past, they just feel like hollowed out sometimes. And that's just, 
I don't know, it just feels like lower quality even if they look good. So I like when the statues have a little weight to them. You can see both her eyes there. It looks really nice. Face looks good. The paint looks good. The hands look good. Just trying to see if there is any damage anywhere. Hopefully there isn't. I don't see anything sticking out to me so far. So yeah, Lilith looking, looking pretty nice if we can... Uh, Flip her over here, see some of the detail in the back. Oh, there's where the wings go in. Got her hair. Very nice. So far, so good. So let's put her on the stand before I accidentally drop her and I start crying. Okay, there she is on the base. Just that. Um, luckily, nice and easy. The post just slid right onto the base there. Uh, there wasn't any problems with it. It slid in quite easily, so she would be easy to take off and remove from the base. Uh, so that's good. So I didn't have to fight with it like some of the other figures I've had where the posts like don't quite fit because the size is slightly too small. But yeah, so looking good. Yeah, so most of the way there, all we got is her wings, tail, and... Uh, Diablo's skull that she's uh, holding. So let's go ahead and get those, actually probably put the tail on first, right? Or the wings, which one do they, which one do they say on here? So put her in, check, tail is next. Then tail bolts into the bottom. Then we put wings on, then we put the skull and we have a complete and happy Lilith. <laughs> All right, so tail it is. Here is her tail. Don't know if it's gonna, here we go, focus on the tail, there we go. The bone tail that she had, okay, camera, can you, thank you. It's kind of slightly greenish in color, interesting, kind of like an emerald color is what it looks like. Yeah, it's like emerald on, more emerald on camera than I would say in in actual person here but it does have that greenish tint to it almost like um uh i don't know like uh greening that you might see on like some steel that's starting to pit or something like that it's that weird kind of green like that darkish green so now let's just put it on so we got the post here camera yeah we've got the post here and a post up here all right time for the tail Okay, there, tail is attached. Can see the tail there. Okay. Perfect, looking good. All right, so now I'm gonna put her wings on. Do that. All right, so now the wings. All right, we got wing number one here. You can see the nice detailing on this. Looks really good. All of the claws are intact here. Quite sharp. The wings are uh, not as solid as the statue in the base. They're nice and light, which is to be expected. They're probably hollow wings anyway, so that she could fly less weight. Yeah, so looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and pop this one on. All right, wing number two here. Again, looks good. Yeah, don't see anything wrong with this one either. So let's go ahead and pop this one in. Okay, there she is with her wings on. Luckily, the wings went in pretty good it felt like there's a pretty strong magnet um in there or something or, i mean there had to be something in there because the slot for the wings to go in wasn't much bigger like it wasn't like a tight fit or anything like that like i didn't have to push really hard to get the wings to actually go in but as soon as they slid into the back of the socket there then as soon as i tried to pull the wings back out they did not want to pull out. They seemed like they were pretty, pretty sturdy now. Like those wings, it's going to take me some effort if I ever wanted to remove those, which is good. So I'm very happy about that. 
So there's, she's got her wings in. Looking pretty good. So now all that's left is to give her the Diablo skull, and then we can see her in her full glory here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is the Diablo skull. Again, looking pretty nice. All the teeth are there. Nothing looks chipped, so it looks like no damage on my statue, which is very good. And actually, I mean, I guess there wasn't really much that they needed to take off for this particular one, but came pretty much fully assembled. So it was like almost like a single print, or if it wasn't a single print, then they attached like the arms or anything that needed to go on in the clothing at the factory for me and either glued it in place or for all I know, some of them are just come on, held in by magnets. So I might be able to take off, say like her arms or maybe her hands or something like that, but not gonna try. So yeah, now we just gotta set this on there. And there we are, complete. She is now holding the skull. That definitely did not have any magnets or anything in there. I had to work a little bit to get the skull on. That one was actually a snug fit, unlike all of the other, or unlike all of the other um, parts that we had to put in. Those kind of went in really nicely. She went onto the base without any issues. Like I said, the wings seemed to have magnets in it, whereas Diablo is just held in by the snug fit, basically. But that's fine, because gravity's holding them down, too. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and go mobile here so we can get a better look at her. Okay, so get a good look at her. She's actually taller than me right now because of my because of my dresser. Okay, yeah, so I'm actually really happy with how this uh, statue turned out. She looks amazing. Um, usually I'm not, uh, I don't get statues of this particular size, but like I said, I just, as soon as I saw the pictures of her, she just looked so good in the pictures that I had to get this statue. So not going to be getting many more of this size unless I kind of downsize my smaller figure collection. Room's kind of a mess right now, but if we just pan real quickly, like we've got all sorts of them already in here and stuff. We've got a mess over there. Um, don't know about, I wanted to change around the backdrop a little bit because this was kind of my Japanese style that I had over here with all of these kind of uh, paintings and got our sword up there. So, I mean, it still works okay with her. I'm gonna have a few things, of course, to decorate around there for her. I've got, let me grab this. This is one of the things that we have that I'll, I'll need to get a stand for it because I want it to stand somewhere around her there. Um, I did get one of the candles as well, like the Lilith candles that I can set over here. Got that when I was at Comic-Con, so that will be something else to go with her. And then I just have a lot of like little knickknacks and stuff that is going to go around there that kind of fits the theme like i have a uh let's grab this little chalice type thing that i have here not not really the you know best compliment for her but i don't know it'll still kind of fit the theme and look kind of good so i've got kind of little things like that that i'm gonna decorate around here do that later but in terms of the statue i think it's really really nice um what did, what did i end up paying for it i think i got it slightly discounted because I bought it during one of the sales. I, uh, I pre-ordered it such a long time ago now because I think I pre-ordered her kind of when she first went up like over a year ago or about a year ago because she was up for pre-order I think before the game released if I remember correctly. So I pre-ordered her before I even had the game and then yeah pretty much just waiting for her to arrive and kind of thinking what I want to do with the surrounding area here. But overall, I think she was worth the price because I want to say I spent like 500 on her. I want to say that's what I paid because I think I got like 
a hundred dollars off because I believe she was six hundred dollars retail price and I think I got her for a hundred dollars off because of the promotion and then also with the promotion I ended up getting free shipping as well so I had to pay whatever tax was on that so 500 plus tax I believe is what I paid because I don't remember paying more than like 550 I think 550 is what I paid after tax because that's kind of the number that's come in my head I could be wrong but uh either way I'm happy with the price. I'm happy with how she turned out. So let me know if any of you ended up getting this statue yourself and how you like the quality or the look of the statue. Definitely very, you know, she has a presence here because look at the size of the statue. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be it for this uh, video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And of course I will catch you in the next one.